they um, said, yeah, they can cover it, and they took your money. Yeah, you, yeah, you the, mind asking me how much you guys paid? I, it was around about £2,000. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So this is Freya and we're about to do a mock test, yeah. But before we start the mock test, which will be a separate video, yeah. On the journey here, Freya mentioned that she's had a uh, test before, yeah. And what she did was a crash course, uh, or they are called intensive courses, uh, which I'm not a massive fan on. They're, they're not all bad, yeah. But I think it's good um, that we talk to someone who's actually just um done an intensive course tell you about how they work here yeah. so before you guys decide to um just book a course you know the ins and outs yeah so okay freya so tell us um obviously you did the intensive course the crash course because you wanted to pass quickly like yeah. a lot of learners do yeah yeah okay so what did you do did you just google it or what so did you i think first my dad had mentioned you know about an intensive course instead of doing general lessons because i've heard people who do lessons you know like one of my mates had been doing lessons for three years and yeah. that to me it was important that I passed as soon as possible because of getting around and getting to my mates because of we live quite a distance away yeah um so I just googled it there was a few of them where it was just like the policies weren't weren't good for what we wanted and then we found a company rang them up spoke to them and it all seemed pretty good got the course we wanted and then that was it we paid and so they they um said yeah they can cover it and they took your money yeah you, yeah, you the, mind asking me how much you guys paid I, it was around about two thousand pound okay well, and how um, many hours are you going to get for that 40. 40 it included hours. i um test yeah a test so the tests that i've just done that included okay. that but it didn't cover the it didn't cover the the money that you needed to pay for the car on the test date because okay. i still had to pay the 100 pound up front okay. for the lesson before and for the car okay Right. So, so that's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a lot of money. Yeah. But I totally get what you're saying. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't. You don't want your lessons to to drag. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, it's all about what, what some people can afford. Just the one lesson a week. If you have two lessons a week, then obviously you're going to pro progress quicker. Yeah. I think there was a big there was a big upfront as well about um, how people don't tend to have availability at the moment because of the yeah. backlog off of covid and yeah. you know to find an instructor it's a pain and then to get regular lessons it's a pain so to just book it and know that someone would have to do those 40 hours yeah. before my test was a yeah. bit of reassurance that and that i'd fit it in that totally makes sense yeah you're, you're not the only one everybody would lo would like to do that yeah yeah, okay. yeah but the key thing is yeah I've got nothing against these uh, crash courses. They, they, they can be. I've done a couple in the past, yeah. But I find them really intense for the learner and myself, yeah. yeah. Because obviously, I want you to get to that standard where I know you're going to pass, yeah? yeah. And then when we when we got that time frame to do it in, it's like damn, we got to we got to we got to hurry up, yeah. yeah. So um, they they took your money, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, guys, how these companies work, yeah. Uh, I get lots of random messages from different companies as well, yeah, that they've secured a pupil in this area and they'll offer me this much money. It's normally a bit more money than we normally charge, like Fred just told you how much he paid, yeah? And um, people pay because they want to uh, pass quickly, yeah? Yeah. And then they just forward uh, your details to just loads of instructors in, in the area, in yeah. the nearby area, yeah. And you just pot look what instructor you get. Well, we got told as well, one of the things was that um, we'd be picked up from my area, which a lot of my mates, their nearest place is Worcester. So obviously their instructors tend to go over that way. Whereas for me, when he, when I got the the call or that I had an email first saying, you know, we found you an instructor. When I got into contact, it was a case of we can't pick you up from Kimber. At first, it was the train station. Well, that and crazy. yeah, and I was like, that's it's a bit of a pain to get to, especially if, for example, it's not his fault, but he's been late on a few S occasions. So if I was at Wolverhampton train station, I'd just be waiting there. Sorry, let me. Let, uh, sorry for interrupting. So they weren't going to pick you up from home. No, whereas when we booked the test, well, not the test, like the course. Yeah. We'd stated where we lived in the address, they knew that, and they'd said, yeah, that's fine, we'll get it sorted. So I'm just clarifying, so after paying so much, you had to <laughs> We then have to travel, travel to... to place. Okay, yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, it's getting it get better, yeah. Okay, right. Oh, so this is the case with, uh, with everyone, yeah. And like I said, it's just part look here, what instructor you get. You could you could end up with a, with a good instructor, but to be honest, a lot of the good instructors do be booked up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, um, yeah, so... 
you got how many hours did you get around 40 hours i've done 40 including well discluding the one hour before my test so i've done 41 altogether so far okay cool so you did 41 hours and when you went for your test did you feel ready um not really i felt i felt like the test hadn't been explained to me as well so i was very nervous like i was a nervous wreck and i think after i've done it and it, like my next test i I think I'll be more calm because I know what's coming in. It wasn't that bad, and I think the things weren't. It wasn't explained to me how the test would go. It was explained in the sense of sorry, sat you shouldn't be laughing, but like no, you didn't explain. So you didn't know what to expect really on the test. It was. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was explained as in like you pull in. There's 20 minutes sat nav, 20 minute normal, yeah. one manoeuvre. They might ask you to pull over to the side of the road, but. It was nothing like what I expected. I don't think okay. it had been explained to me properly. Like, yeah, it was like, like it was going to be shocking, like really bad, and it wasn't that bad. My test wasn't. Oh, okay. And cool. I, I think I was that worried because it had been explained to me like, oh, no one passes, and it's really bad, and you know, and so the examiners, and I was like really the, nervous, and it wasn't that so bad. So same like the instructor was just um, uh, getting you ready to fail because I'm not not putting the blame on uh, blame on the instructor. I'm not, again, I'm not blaming the instructor yet, but uh, the reason why I'm heading that way, yeah, because some of the stuff that you mentioned to me on the way, which we're going to talk about, yeah. Now, yeah. So you went for your test. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't feel fully ready. You know, at that point, you know, if you don't feel fully ready. It's okay to say, look, I want a few more lessons, but they, think, they're going to charge yeah, you. Yeah, I think I felt time. ready in the sense of my driving. Yeah. However, I don't think it was after my test I realised I wasn't. So, it was more after, and then once I'd been through it, it wasn't that bad, but then I thought um, I wasn't ready for it. I could have done with yeah. maybe a few extra things said to me or like a so, few. Yeah, <laughs> on that point now, so obviously you went for your test, yeah. And guys, um, just to let you know, if you want to see Freya's driving, yeah, we are going to do a mock test video, yeah, after we finish filming this one, yeah, which will be up probably a couple of weeks after this video, yeah. So, um, yeah, don't forget to uh, subscribe if you, if you want to watch that video. <laughs> we're going to get that in. Right. So, you went for your test. You yeah. obviously didn't pass. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, just l let's just go on that one mistake that you, you told me, yeah. Okay, so we don't, we don't go on about it yeah. too long, yeah. So, you know that one mistake um, that you failed your test for? What was it? Um when he'd asked me to pull over to the left hand side of the road it was fine pulled over i did what i thought were my checks obviously your mirrors what you were your taught. right shoulders your left shoulders however i wasn't taught that your last check should be your right shoulder so even though i checked my right shoulder it wasn't my last one i did i did my right mirror last meaning i got a major for it so yeah because you kept doing it yeah well, uh, I did it. We only asked me to pull over once, so okay. I only did it once, and it was a minor. But no, a major. Sorry, but okay. And it sa it that, said that, it was that, because I didn't check my right, and obviously he checked as well because I didn't do that last. Was anyone there at that point, or because normally what they do is, you know, if you miss it the once, yeah, because yeah? like you said, you were you were you were doing it, yeah. But you know that right blind spot, you should check it just before you move, yeah. Yeah. And you, you went toward that, were you? No, I checked, obviously I checked my mirrors. That was the last thing I did before I moved off was checked my mirrors. And then when, you know, the examiner had given me like a little debrief at the end as to where I'd gone wrong, what I need to do next time and sort of help me out a bit. Um, when he said about that, he said, your right shoulder, your blind spot needs to be the last check that you do. And obviously I didn't know that. So to me, obviously now when I pull over, I would hopefully remember to check yeah. my right shoulder knowing that now but I didn't know that before yeah. so is it failing for something yeah that you haven't actually been taught to do yeah like mine it's not your fault yeah. <laughs> well, having yeah. paid so much money that's just, what I thought it just frustrates me yeah it's again we, we could say it's the instructor but then the for me the whole responsibility lies On with the, the company, company yeah. yeah because what they should do is yeah they should like make sure the like you know the instructors that work for DGN yeah, yeah. I'm not saying every single instructor is a perfect instructor yeah but we make sure when we train them yeah we know they they they, they teach to a certain standard yeah yeah okay and that's what these companies should be doing and they they're not like some of them aren't even actual driving schools or know yeah. nothing about um te uh, teaching learners yeah, yeah they're just there they're they're good online and they just 
like I said, they make their cut and just pass yeah. you those on. Yeah, and it's just potluck. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure there's going to be people saying they've had good experiences. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, which, which there are good instructors out there as well who actually want you to pass and go through everything uh, thoroughly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, this is one of the reasons why I, I don't like crash courses. I just think like, for me, it's just too much pressure. Yeah. And yeah. Then you know when like that company they just give give people just to anyone without actually yeah. doing checks on them yeah yeah so but for those of you that do want to pass what i would say is yeah if you do want to do one of these uh, crash courses best thing to do is find a local instructor start with it like yeah you might have to wait a month yeah, yeah. okay i just say to him look i want to do three lessons a week yeah yeah or i want to do four hours a week well when i only I did like two one and a half hour lessons. Oh, did I do one? I think at start I was doing like two one and a half hour lessons a week, and then we only moved on to like one one and a half hour lesson a week. So it wasn't that rushed so, to be fair. Oh, so you didn't do it in like a couple of weeks or anything? I got to, well. This is the, that was the plan to do it in a few weeks, and then <laughs> it gets worse because these crash courses yeah, yeah, yeah. in like two, two three, three weeks. weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what we thought because my dad had said to me like, "Oh, well, you might do it in like." A week or two and you might have like a few days off college or something and where you literally do an intensive course and you do it every day like and that's what we all thought until and then we've got my because first they book you in a test yeah. and then they work from that so they do the test first then they get you an instructor because obviously yeah, you might not be able thing. to get a test for like six yeah. months or something and then I was the one who got in contact with my instructor because I'd heard nothing after they had told me that He'd get so in contact with me. They just sent you the instructor's details, yeah? Yeah, they had said, here's, you know, the name, yeah. the phone number. He should get in contact. He never did. So I rang him and I was like, can can we... Uh, start lessons. Start lessons. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, yeah. So it wasn't... It's been like two months. It's been... Or a bit of maybe three pushing it that I've been doing my lessons for. So it hasn't been... Yeah. Like... Crushed okay. in a small space okay. like we thought it originally would be. So you, uh, basically, you, you paid all that money for for nothing, really. For like a and normal lesson, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically. And, and this is what the whole the reason I'm doing this video is just so you guys just to prevent people from making the same mistake. Yeah. yeah Brad was up for yeah. Let, let's do that. So uh, before we film the mock test, I asked her, um, would, would she be okay doing that? She said yeah, just to make you guys aware of how these crash courses can go wrong yeah just yeah. Go wrong, yeah okay so um yeah that's it really okay so just it, it does seem harsh though you know that one mistake i'm um, sure it wasn't on the maneuver as well that you didn't check your blind spot because that's that that's um, the thing that they can value for so, it, you, you know don't you get me wrong it could have been but when he was debriefing me that's what okay, he said okay, it was okay. when so it, it could have been and that's why it was yeah, a minor yeah, yeah. but he didn't mention to me about the I'd, on the parking, I did get a minor on my parking, but it was because I bumped the back of the car on the curb, okay. and I was like, "Oh, sorry." So that was why I got a minor See, for th these kind of mistakes that you do. Obviously, that's nothing. They're to do my with fault, it. Yeah, 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 exactly, like, exactly. But with with faults like that, was stuff that you haven't been taught yet. Yeah. yeah. So it could, it could have been that as yeah. well. It was just when he was explaining to me, that was what and he said to me. Also, you said that the instructor didn't go through any show me, tell me questions with you either. No, obviously. The mirror, like, not the mirrors, the um, the washing in front and washing the back, he showed me that. But apart from that, there was, like, not many that were gone through, apart from, like, the basics, like, the washing your windscreen and washing your back one. And oh, okay. when it got, when I got there and the first thing the examiner said to me was about the ABS braking system, and I was just like, I don't know, I'm really sorry. And obviously that's a minor, because I didn't know, whereas when I went into college after and I was like, tell my mates, and I was like, this is what happened. And she was uh, like, did your instructor not tell you? And I was like, no. And the thing is, you only discover the videos afterwards, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, if you're watching the videos before, you had had a lot of help. Well, exactly. <laughs> right, right. So, um, yeah, that's it. Anything else you want to add? I don't think so. Thank you very much, yeah, for sharing yeah. that info. And guys, yeah, if you are, I know you want to pass quickly, yeah, but please make sure, yeah, e even if you do get a, um, uh, find a company for the crash courses or whatnot, yeah, make sure you ask if you can have a couple of lessons with the instructor, make sure you're comfortable with them, the teaching's good, and then, uh, pay or pay the rest of the money. Don't just pay loads of money without knowing <laughs> who you're going to have lessons with, yeah. Okay, so that's, that. that's my advice, yeah. Right, so um, like always guys, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.